Rashford, did you fix the Wi-Fi? Almost shaved, don't worry. Come on, man. Sorry, we had some technical difficulties with... Not this dumb box. <laughs> we'll start over. This is Board Chat, episode something something. And um, we have Vlad from AEG. We'll pretend Jay, this never happened. Am I supposed to cut the red or the blue wire? wire. What if that one's connected to self-destruct? Just do it. Just cut it. What about the green one? <laughs> what happened? Hey, I'm sorry. It was us. <laughs> so, <laughs> and my, my wife is half Guatemalan. You don't want to hear what she just said. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Good. Redford fixed it. Look at him. He, he cut the blue wire. <laughs> Did you cut the blue wire? Do you don't want me in your show, Redford? I'm, a, I'm such a fan and you're treating me like this. That's mean, man. That's mean. Sorry. <laughs> so let's, uh, let, let's give let's give the the, uh, the brief the brief summary. Uh, breathe. Breathe. <laughs> breathe. Breathe. Uh, Did you hear what he said? No, something about las cholas, but that that has different uh, meanings where you are. <laughs> well, we're, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Okay, so the first part that we talked about is, is not going to be in the video. So just real quick, tell us who you are and who you work for. Hello, I'm Vladimir Orellana. I work for AG in marketing and public relationships. I'm the guy connecting with content creators all around the world. I show them our upcoming games, and sometimes I get the privilege to play with people and show them what's coming. And right now we were talking about what was coming in 2022 and 2023 for AEG, right? Let's hear it. So we're doing uh, mid middle of this month on the 17th, we're doing Thunderstone Quest or famous deck building game where we're trying to explore a dungeon and add cards to our deck. Uh, feed a bunch of monsters we're gonna go nature based on this game and we're changing some core mechanics and just giving you out a new opportunity to get into the basic game uh, so please check us out you can go right now to alderac.com and you can get the full information of that kickstarter then end of the month the guild of merchant explorers and um, it's an exploration game we're trying to reconnect people together by exploring maps each turn, you're going to reveal one card that's going to be sim simultaneously played by all players. And then you're going to decide how that card impacts your map. Sometimes during that turn, you're going to get an asymmetric power that's going to change the way you explore the map. And then you play for four eras. And in each era, you're going to get a new superpower that can turn into an engine. So it can help you explore the whole map. We created mm -hmm. five maps for this game, and the way we are going to reveal it to the world is that we are going to invite you to play together with us in an online experience. Nice. After that, we are creating the next game from Peter McPherson, Wormholes. That's the guy that created Tiny Towns. He's a super cool guy that you should get to know it and following, follow him on all social networks. In his new game, we're going to play the Space Taxi game. We're going to go and pick up people around the galaxy in different planets. We're going to try to bring them together and move them from planet from pl to planet as fast as you can. And the best way to do it is by bending the whole universe, creating wormholes. But hey, creating a huge wormhole, it's something that's going to impact the board and it's going to impact the whole galaxy so mm. other players can use your wormhole networks. The prize, they're going to give you victory points each time they use them. So... You start with two actions, but in the end, you can explore the whole galaxy in a single turn by using your own network and other players' networks. Nice. Then, mm -hmm. GameCon is going to see us playing at Big Game Night. Big Game Night is this huge event where we get around 500 to 1,000 people playing together in a single hotel, uh, I guess, in a hotel hall, a bowl, I don't know, I don't know how to call it, un, un salon de hotel. Uh huh. Mm. Same hall, big hall. Big hall, and we get 500 people playing the same games. We're gonna oh. showca showcase two games. Number one, 
that old wallpaper in the game, you're going to go and visit your grandma's house. You're going to check out her wallpaper and you're going to try to make your own little wallpaper by mm -hmm. drafting and bidding for the right pieces to solve your puzzle. It's a micro mm -hmm. game. It's in a small box. You can play it in 10 minutes. Super fun. And the second one is going to be your kind of our first party game. It's called Ready, Set, Bet. It's a live horse racing bidding game where each player is going to simultaneously, simultaneously trying to find out who is the horse that's going to win that race. And you do that by grabbing your coins, place them on the bidding board, and put as fast as you can all the coins that you can before other players take the best spots of bidding. Mm. Players will gain powers. We will have very difficult bits to guess, like Can a horse win by a nose? Mm. Can the weakest horse win this race? And of course, mm. if you win, you get the huge payout. Four rounds, and it's by the designer of Dead Reckoning and Space Days, John DeClaire. Super fun, very loudly, and there's a ton of people from the community who are helping us uh, create an app, so you're going to hear the narrations from people like Ruel Gaviola and others that it's worth to check out. That's awesome. Uh, what else I can tell you right now that I haven't told you later this year? Just give me a second. I'm just trying to refresh my memory. Anything <laughs> classified? Uh, <laughs> uh, you know what? This is the part of the conversation when I need to be super careful because I sometimes these mistakes classify information with real information. So, <laughs> okay. Yeah. We're have checked that city a couple of years ago we were part of a designer contest when we're trying to find a new board game designer Matt flow uh, won that award and we're gonna bring his first game out that's called shake that city um, super fun game CD builder the catch we have a huge gizmo that creates patterns of cubes when you shake it You shake it, you press it against the table, and you get a beautiful uh, cube pattern that you're going to use to build your city. And then we have uh, our, game, our game Smash Up. is he, his 10th anniversary, so we're going to have a 10th anniversary edition of Smash Up with nice. content. Um, that's pretty much all the games that we have for this year. And then in 2023, we will have uh, a game about Japan called Let's Go to Japan from the designer of Santa Monica and Cat Lady, Josh Wood. We're, project, we're working on, uh, I'm going to say it, uh, we're working on a robot project, we're working on a breakfast project, we're wor working on a fungus project, and we're also working on a dragons project. Ooh, and are those code names? Ready for 2023 or 2024. Are those, are those code names? Maybe. <laughs> Thanks, Redford. You got to get no, on. No, no. Conan's is another. It's another, another one, yeah, game. Yeah. Yeah. It's a really good game, but set games. So you haven't and read. Then, and then you just had Rolling Heights on Kickstarter, right? Yeah, that was at the start of the year, and we are doing our best to deliver that on time next year. If we manage to just get the shipments in time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a whole other story, right? It's a whole other story. All right, and that's what we're doing for 2022. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, um, obviously, you, you know, you you said for with AG, your your job is to connect with 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 the the people, right? The public, uh, and you have a great relationship with different content creators. How how important is the content creator role for you guys? I think I think advertisement has changed around the world. In recent years, I think that people prefer to connect with real human beings. Mm -hmm. They want to learn their stories. Me? Sure, why not? Except. <laughs> Except. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. With human beings and nice red forehead creatures. Thank you. Hey, you didn't say puppet. I didn't say puppet. Why would he, be, why would he say puppet? Oh, that, that means he knows you. He knows you. Right, he knows I'm not a puppet. Who would? <laughs> okay, let's let him continue. All right, so that personal connection is something that becomes special. You you get used to the tone of voice. You get used to the pace. 
and you start l learning from each other human being. It's something so tribal that connects us to, to that point in time where we're used to just sit around a fire camp and listen to each other's stories. And that's super powerful. And it creates a more meaningful connection to the products and to the people. So for us, it's really important to be able to connect with these with creators around the world and get their help in sharing these stories about game means that sometimes are related to our products with other people. So yeah. it's part of our mm -hmm. strategy. Uh, three years ago, uh, when we started our, our content creator program, we used to send 20 copies of games to certain creators, mostly in the US and Canada. Today, we send 120 copies of each game for each launch. We send games to 22 different countries around the world. Whoa. And slowly growing. We're not stopping. We're, we're just trying to reach out and let more people know what are we doing and hear their stories. Do you send any copies outside of Earth? Yes. Asking for a friend who may ask you for a friend. <laughs> I don't know. Be. You, you should tell you, you should tell your friend to join my content creator program, and if he sends me a, a valid FedEx address, I will ship them the game. Gonna take a lot of work to phone home again. <laughs> do you have any? <laughs> do you have any other creator similar or close to Redford? No, no, no. No, Redford is pretty unique. I mean, oh, yeah, maybe the last of my kind. Maybe we don't maybe. know. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We don't yet. know. We don't know. He's only been around for twelve months or so. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> uh, so you personally, let's talk about you. How did you get into board games? Oh, big uh, <laughs> deep story. <laughs> Oof. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how deep I want to go into this story, but let's say that there was a very very horrible war in Guatemala. I, me and my mom got a chance to ex escape into Mexico. And we finally returned to Guatemala when I was a little kid, four or five years. Uh, but it, it, it wasn't, it, it was not a good return. Mm -hmm. I was sick for a good part of my life and my grandma, uh, when seeing that I wasn't able to just go out with other kids and play, run, do, do, do most of the stuff that kids kids do, uh, sit down with me and start teaching me how to play card games. Uh -huh. like what, what did you play, like canasta and, or poker? <laughs> we play something that's called uh, Conquian, which is Con a variation bi bi on Rumik. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so we play that game. We play the pairs game. We play pokers. Um, not the normal cards, card deck that you play, right? We play with the Spanish cards, which is a little bit different. We play, uh, it has coins, cups, uh, mm -hmm. maces, and swords. Instead of nice. cards, diamonds, space. Yeah. Right, right. Uh, then. One of my cousins, cousins brought a copy of, a copy of Monopoly. Uh, it's 83, 84. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe later. Maybe 85, 86. <laughs> Pobrecito. You have to warn us. Pat, pat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I used to like Monopoly at that time of my life. Then I got introduced to Risk. Then Uno. <sighs> And then you know I, what? I fell in love with games. Okay. It was it was beautiful to have this space where I can sit in front of it of other people and just enjoy the experience, right? Like like the guy that didn't wasn't able to just go and run was able to sit down and challenge other players with something that he can do on his table, right? It was right. very mm -hmm. feeling for me as a kid. That's awesome. And then it become a habit of my cousins to every Christmas lay out this huge risk game that lasted for eight plus hours. It was super happy. And, and Latinos 
most Latinos celebrate Nochebuena, mm -hmm. Christmas Eve, and we have to wait until uh, 12 o'clock of Christmas, and then we open our presents at, presents at that time. So while we wait, we just play Risk, or any Risk. other book we could play. Uh, later in my life, uh, I got a chance to start enjoying card games. I learned about Magic the Gathering, the United Fire Rings, a bunch of other games, and I love it. <laughs> I play it more, and then I start doing demos in Walmart, Burger King's, Domino's Pizza to show <laughs> people how to play. Mm -hmm. it was super fun. <laughs> then on my on my vacations, I I just I just got hired by local board game stores to just sell the games at big retail places, play a bunch of more games, got to meet a bunch of great people, then went to college, yeah. enjoy board games with other people that like me, just love it playing games. Then one day we were seeing and someone say, hey, I got this copy of, of this game called Catan, and boom. <laughs> It was over. The addiction. No. Yeah. Then, it, then it took off. I think it took off when I learned how to play D&D around 95, 96, and made some of the best friends of my life in my D&D group. To this day, we still play. And now mm -hmm. we play with the kids and <laughs> the dads, moms of that group. It's, it's, nice. it's, it's a great group. Yeah, it's been fantastic. for... 25 years, 20, 27 years now, no, 26 years now. Wow. Uh, yeah. That's awesome. That's a good story. So that's you, you that's need a, a good story. origin story. You need a story. Big. Mine? Yeah. Well, no, we don't want to hear your story. My origin story. No, 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 no. We're getting into board games. Oh, what is it? Uh, when I ended up coming here, you took me in, you sat me down on a chair and forced me to play with cardboard. <laughs> and I said, smile, I'm going to record. Yeah. 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 So... <laughs> You have obviously a passion for board games, but you also have a passion for cooking? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to make me talk about food? Sure. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> as long as it has nothing to do with me in it, I'm okay with the food. <laughs> What, what's your best dish? My best dish mm, depends on who you ask. I mean, people have <laughs> favorite profiles and they like different things from my food. Like, I have a friend that just visits me once a month because she wants to try my brownies. Uh -huh. Then my neighbor comes here whenever I try a new recipe. And like yesterday, I did pistachio pesto, so it was a uh -huh. pasta made out of pistachio pesto, and there is nothing left. <laughs> They, ask, they basically assault me and grab everything I <laughs> eat and eat them. Um, I like to do a bunch of curry variations. I like to try some fruit on my curries. I do, and then I do weird stuff like mixing several cultures of influence into my foods. Like last time I did uh, apple chipotle curry. Oh. <laughs> I'm surprised you can even oh. say it. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised I can't even say it. That was and that turned out to be really good curry. Uh, give me a second. I live in a place where we have two dogs per house. So oh, no problem. No There's problem. a lot of rats. That's a lot of rats. That's yeah. a lot of rats. Rats. <laughs> big rats. Yeah. Big. All right. And so that's the type of thing I do. Like I. I just watch a recipe online, and if I feel like I, I, I'm able to do it, I just go ahead and try it. And most of the time, it turns, it turns out well. And then the other thing that I do is that every time I try a new recipe, I do it for one whole month, five or six times, until I can say, okay, this works. <laughs> so like learning a new game, right? You just keep so playing. Like a new game. I like cooking, and the other thing that I like... I, I do cooking, I do toy collecting, and the other thing that I do is like I make my own furniture. You do make your own furniture? Ah. Yeah, ah. I make furniture. Carpentry? Uh, more design. Design, okay. So we have, um, I think the best way I can, I can explain this is by showing. Yeah, we love tours. Let's see. 
Ooh, so dark. It's like one of those like ghost shows. Ooh. I made the chairs. Oh wow. Look at that. Oh wow. Table. Oh, that's oh. Cool. Furniture where I put my dishes. <laughs> wow. Whoa. My board game shelf. Your board what? game shelf. Yes. So, so if he went out of space, he could just build another one. He doesn't have to spend tons of money like you. <laughs> <laughs> How long did it take you to make I, I have spent enough money on making my own furniture. And, <laughs> and I, 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 just, I just like to use this uh, textile clothing uh, native to Guatemala. And it's pretty mm -hmm. colorful. And I just love how it looks. That was something passed to me from my mom. She uh, used to wear this, uh, it's, it's all cultural dresses on uh -huh. a traje typico. Sí. And so I'm now incorporating that into the furniture that I make. That's very cool. That, that chair looks really nice. I think I could wear that chair. So have you ever made chuchitos? Yes. Oh, oh. But what the, so it's, it's, it's our variation of white tamales. Yeah. It's basically lard, masa. Oh. Salt, oh. really good red sauce. Oh, and then you can no, do no. your variation of chicken chuchitos, beef oh. chuchitos, pork chuchitos, or mushroom chuchitos. Mm -hmm. And acate chuchitos are really good. Oh, I'm, looking at my, I'm looking at my wife because she's like, we just ate, but oh. she says she's hungry again. <laughs> I mean, I can't blame her. And then, and then. One of these days, you should try to do bean chuchitos. Bean chuchitos? Oh. You, do, you grab the black beans. Uh -huh. You fry them just a little bit. So they lose a lot of the water that they have after you do the cooking of the basic beans. So they become more dry. And then you put them on, the, on, on your masa. And then just... Ah. Interesting. Oh. Like you were playing the Play-Doh, cover them. And then you serve them with cotija cheese or queso fresco, which is uh -huh. the way I call it. Fresh cream, and they're delicious. Wow. We got we to gotta tell uh, the mother-in-law to make some. <laughs> uh, you got the people in the chat hungry. Okay, so since we're talking about, you know, Guatemalan things like chuchitos, Ooh. okay? Um, we have friends in Costa Rica, right? We, mm -hmm. you know. Adri and Ale and, and, and yeah. Gabby. And so when we've had chats with them, uh, they've taught Redford some Costa Rica expressions. So I thought that maybe if you had some words, like typical Chapin words. Sure. That you can <laughs> teach Redford. Let's do the first be... one. Okay, go for it. Okay. Okay, Redford, listen to me carefully. Chilero. Hmm. Chili man. Le ro. Can you say Go it? Go on, say it with me. Mm -hmm. Chi. Chi. Le. Le. Ro. Go. Ro. Chile go. Chile oh. goes. Chilero. Chile go. Chile no. goes. Chile. Okay. Last part is something like say rose. Rose. Okay. Just skip the final parts and go, Chilero. Chilero. There you go. I did it. I'm Guatemalan. Okay, so what does that mean? You're Guatemalan? <laughs> Congratulations. It means cool. Oh, Chilero. There you go. I did it. I'm so Go, Redford. Yes. Yes. That's yes. awesome. That's First a great, Guatemalan that's word. A, that's a good start. What else do you have? Let me think. Oh, you know the problem. The words that are coming to my mouth are to my mind. Are oh. Not the words that I want to teach Redford. Oh, tell me, I can take it. No, I Redford. Can take, don't touch me. You're already offensive enough. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what. So I'm I'm gonna teach you a Mayan word. Oh. Okay. Guatemalans are descendants from Mayan people. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna do one Mayan word. Mm -hmm. You hear it and then you repeat after me. Okay. Maltiosh. Maltiosh. 
There you go, first try. Yes, I'm also a certified Mayan. Wow. Say it one more time. Mantyosh. One more. Mantyosh. And it means thank you. Oh, Mantyosh. Oh. There you go. Look at that. Wow. You're yes. learning Mayan. I'm Guatemalan. I'm Mayan. I'm also from out of space. Costa Rica. I sound like a New Jersey person. <laughs> Everything. And so, it's from it's from a Mayan variant called Sutuhil. Mm -hmm. uh, because we have uh, twenty no forty three different variants of the Mayan language Whoa. to this day. Obviously, the core language has been lost to time. Right. But uh, their descendants still have words and meaning that interact between each other, but they're different variations. But a lot of the people in Guatemala will understand you when you say Mantis. Ah. Mantis. So can you remember that? So at the end you can, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I did a, we, I did a little bit of, of, of research and, and I, I, I have a few Guatemalan expressions here and I want to test your, your knowledge of your Chapin heritage. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say the phrase and you tell me what it means. A ver, a ver si, a ver si Google tiene razón o no. <laughs> okay, si alguien dice, ahí puyan con tortilla tiesa. What are they saying? <laughs> <laughs> the clean version, Vlad. The clean version. <laughs> it means that you're going to a dangerous place. Dangerous place. Ah, they're making tortillas over there. No, no, no. Don't not, go not, there. Not that kind right, of right. Tortillas. <laughs> Chief. Let's just... Chief. Tortillas. We'll leave it at tortillas. No, tortillas. Okay, no more. Okay. Si yo te digo, hey, vámonos al chilazo. Right now. Uh... Al chilazo. That's right. Right now. Uh... What about uh, Redford anda en burra? Uh, so, I'm Redford is in public transportation. Ah, yeah. I'm using a donkey. No, 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 no. I'm on Public. a burrito. <laughs> You're on a burrito. I love burritos. <laughs> okay, quick story. Uh, Thunks 10 says, Titere? You know what Titere is? Yes. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, when we came from Cuba, yeah. um, my with the place where we were staying with some friends, the lady at the house uh, kept saying that for lunch we were going to have burritos. Mm-hmm. And you can imagine my, what my parents thought, because we don't have burritos in, in Cuba. Well, we, we do, but it's, you know, it's not something you eat. Uh, so the clash there was, <laughs> and then the first time she got a tortilla, she put it as a placemat under her, her plate for what? dinner. What? Yeah. yeah. And she, did she eat it after? I don't know. That's kind of gross. They're making tortillas over there. <laughs> okay. So if, if, si yo digo que, si yo, te, si yo digo Redford, que uso eres? I'm a... Que uh, what? Que uso. Oh, uh, he's pretty smart on what he's doing. Oh, I know. I mean, thank you. <laughs> but yes. This is all. I yeah. thought you said I'm a bus. Or <laughs> a bus, yeah. Uh, cachimbazos. Uh, hits. Golpes. Bah. Uh, bah. Tiliches or cachivaches. Uh, it's, it's random stuff that you have around the house. Could be um, cooking work, could be, That's I don't me. know, uh, things that you collect, whatever it was, to, yeah. whatever you stash at your house could be cachivaches. So board games could be cachivaches? Um, it's more, it's more like an object, like, sure, I mean, I mean, I, up, I, can totally see, ah! I can totally see my mind, my mom saying, well, my mom will say, if she was alive, she will she will go and see sometimes the table and go, Guarden esos cachivaches que hay que <laughs> Yeah, put away your He will probably cards. use a more harder word, but that's fine. Cachivaches will work. It, it, yeah. Cucarachas. Cachivaches. Cucarachas. No, los cachivaches tienen cucarachas. Ah, Co uh -huh. <laughs> diliches. Diliches también. Diliches but, also works. That's my wife. She says, tú tienes muchos diliches, Rolando. Yeah, you do have <laughs> a lot of chilies. And chilies, yeah. Chilis. Well, and the last... The last one was what, what Redford said earlier, which is what? Ah, uh, me duele la chola. La chola. Uh, maybe la cabeza. La cabeza. Ah. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Well, by him saying maybe, that means there's a... there's a, there's a... Is this the after hours yeah, version? The, the, the not safe for work 
Optimus. <laughs> awesome. You passed the test. You are, you are a certified I, I watermelon. Want... You are for real, my friend. Yes. You, you are the real deal. <laughs> okay. I have a question that I don't know if you're going to want to answer, but. Sure. Are you Guatemalan? <laughs> no. Oh. Exposed. Oh, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes. Oh. What, what, what can you tell us, or do you have a favorite AEG game? Uh -oh. Sure. Right now it's Cubitos. Oh. oh. Cubanitos. <laughs> Cubanitos. <laughs> no. You're my favorite Cubanito. Thank you, Weapon. Let's, let's think about it. So, I played a ton of Cubitos last year. I play a lot of shippy time. I think I, th I think it's something that changes with time, right? As as you yeah. get tested in a product. So, in order, I will say space based tiny towns, cubitos, uh, shippy time, and today I will say the guild of merchant explorers. I really like to play the guild. Oh. Which one was the last one? Guild of merchant explorers. Oh, okay, okay. I haven't played that one. You haven't? I no. definitely play with you. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, the other ones are great. Uh, Cubitos is is really fun. Um, Sheepy Time, well, I, I think you saw the, the, the review we did for Sheepy Time in Redford. He's getting better with sheep, but he's still... I still see them in my dreams. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Sheepy Time is... I, I love Sheepy Time. I like oh, the Oh, you love Sheepy I Time. Wonder, I yeah. wonder if there's ever going to be an expansion for that. Not right now. Not in the horizon. Not right now. Uh, yeah. He's keeping information from us. <laughs> that means yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. that, that means yes. But, <laughs> that means yes. <laughs> there is a red cover version of Shippy Time. Oh. oh. Uh, I think that Special is something red for me. Edition. I bet it was inspired by me. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. Mm. Course. Totally inspired by you, Redford. Mm -hmm. Always, always. Mm -hmm. So, um, you're obviously surrounded by games. So how often do you actually? Oh, I thought you were going to say surrounded by watermelons. I said, well, yeah. yeah, that's a that's a kind of obvious. That's a given, yeah. Yeah. So how often do you actually play games? I play during the okay, not working related, working related. I play every day. Not working related. I play on the weekends when I can actually see my friends. I I really like sitting around and play different games. I mean. Uh, my favorites to play with friends are Meeple Circus, oh, yeah. Witchcraft. I play a bunch of. Uh, recently, had been playing a bunch of ten. But I I don't like to talk about the games that we, I, that we play from the company. Oh, I just got uh, Foundations of Rome, and this weekend oh, we're. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that is we massive. Got, oh, this week we got Foundations of Rome. And Dark Tower, and oh. then lockdown. Oh yeah, I, I'm. Uh, oh yeah. Now my wallet is feeling it again. <laughs> I, how I, heavy? I how heavy is? Two weeks, and, and, and my wallet can stand it. <laughs> how heavy is the the Foundations of Rome box? Woof! Give me a second. I think it, it was super heavy. Uh, I think I have the data somewhere around here. Paquete in Guatemala, 22 pounds. Oh, oh. you don't even weigh I 20. don't even weigh 20. I don't even weigh eight pounds. <laughs> you know, yeah. And wow. you know, the, the worst part of living in Guatemala is that we, or, or taxes when we import are very different to what you pay. Like, uh -huh. we get charged by pound. Ooh. Oh, eesh. wow. We usually pay $10 per pound per plus 35% of income t of the price of the oh, Wow. See? Wow. Wow. Que camote. Oh, I, 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 yeah, that's the wrong. 22 that's the, pound beach. <laughs> yeah, that's the wrong uh, country. State. Oh, sorry, sorry. State. I, continent too, I think. Continent. Yeah. No, not the not same continent. What? <laughs> We'll have to look at, at your geography skills. What are we talking about? Um, okay, red different. for one. What's that? It's just different. I mean, it's, you just, can, it's just different. You, you get accustomed to it. You just You just don't buy that many games. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to, yeah, until your wallet recovers. Have you played it? Have you played Foundations of Rome yet? No, I'm going to play it this weekend. That's cool. Oh. That's cool. That, that, that looks like a really nice game. 
Yeah. Yeah. So Red for wants to Red for yeah. wants to do a little um, a little quick fire with you to see. We're gonna we're gonna give you a couple of you know one or the other, and then you tell us wh what you prefer. Sure. Go for it. Okay. Star Wars or Star Trek? Star Wars. Marvel or DC? DC. Cascadia or Calico? Oh, it froze. <laughs> Wi-Fi or no Wi-Fi? Wait, wait, wait. It froze there. Go ahead. Say it again. I think we got disconnected. So yeah. you say Marvel or DC, and I say DC. What's the mm -hmm. next question? Cat lady or no, no, dog? No, 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 this one. Stop. <laughs> Stop. That was Guatemalan for the... That that was an expression. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Cascadia or Calico? Cascadia. Oh. Cat lady or dog lover? Cat lady. Chuchitos or tacos? Both. Always. <laughs> oh, we got him. We got him right in the heart. We got him. See. <sighs> oh, give me a second. Uh, let, me okay. say, let me say it. No, no, yeah. I got this chief. Okay, you got it? You sure? <laughs> Yo todo lo que gano, lo gasto en los tacos. <laughs> That's my theme song. That's your theme song. That is my life <laughs> in a nutshell. Okay. You can do this, Red. Come on. Bear with me. Okay. <sighs> this is a hard one. Ma Monopoly. Monopoly. Okay, or going. get a root canal with no anesthesia. Monopoly. Um, I'll take the root canal. I'll take the root canal. Okay, you take the root canal. Okay, last one. <laughs> and you know what? I used to play competitive Monopoly, and I play in tournaments when you had 30 minutes to finish the whole game, and with with as much money as you can during the 80s, and we turned out to be really good at playing that game. Wow. I didn't know. How can you do a game in 30 minutes? What? You can. So, ba so there is a point in the game where you actually know where you're going to land depending on the rolls because you have, it's a 10 square square, 10 tile square. So you can, you can measure wherever you want to go. And then you don't buy the properties. You just beat every single one and you start with very small money to pay for it. And then you move super fast from there. Oh. Huh. Wow, that, that sounds cool, yeah. Look, just a bunch of nurse says, Kingf Kingfisher and I worked with a two-time Canadian monopoly. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> oh. Oh, monopoly, Redford. Say it with me. Monopoly. Whoa. <laughs> Can we skip this Guatemalan expression? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a Guatemalan expression. Oh. Last question. No, I got one more after this. Oh, okay, okay, go. Okay, Redford or Elmo? Come on, Redford. Thank you. Thank you. I knew it. I knew it. I mean, good answer. Last one. AEG or Stonemeyer? <laughs> Get out of here. Yes. <laughs> you don't have to answer that. <laughs> I don't know. So, oh. AEG, from the heart, always. Now, AEG oh. is, is in LA, right? It's in Nevada. Oh, Nevada. Oh. Used to be at the lay, and then we changed headquarters. However, big fan of young Mr. Mike. Oh. Really huge fan of his work, the way he communicates, the way he does marketing. Mm -hmm. it, you, you should admire that guy. That He is one of the stars of the industry, and he knows what he's doing. You should hire him. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> wish, wish I could, Redford. I wish I could. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. I, I, I can do it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, Is there an alternate? Like, if you can't get Jamie, can you... Anything? No, well, I'm sure Uncle Shem will... Uh, yeah, yeah. Shem Phillips, but no we, problem. We chatted well, with him. If, if, I, if, if I will do my dream company, and I could choose anyone from marketing, if I could not hire Jamie, I think one of the other great rock stars in the marketing of board games will be Danny Lowe. She's super cool. From she just changed jobs, but she used to work at Panasaurus. Oh, yeah, changed. yeah, yeah, she, Danny's changed. Right. yeah. And you know, if, if you have uh, if you run out of options, right, completely, you know, you could always go the puppet route. Well, well, 
well. I can always. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, think, I think one of these days we're gonna be in need of a red creature for a specific task, and he will be the best for that oh. task in the world. So I just need to oh. find. Just keep your oh. phone. Keep your phone next to you, Red. Yes. I'm waiting for the call. Yeah, yeah. But you know, mm -hmm. this whole time, you know, Vlad's been running AEG. He's been running AEG? Yes, yes. But besides, it's even in the name. Wow. AEG does not stand for, what was it? Egg. Egg? What does Egg? it stand for? It stands for Awesome Energetic Guatemalan, <laughs> AKA Vlad. Thank you, Red, for... That's how we should have introduced them. Yeah, you're but, awesome, energetic, Guatemalan. -E I can give you one super point. Oh, and my own game? <laughs> one super point if you tell me what AEG means. Um, uh, uh, I'm, I'm uh, out of this one. Uh, okay, okay, I got this. Um, all... Dirac. There you uh, go. Do you know what Alderac is? Alderac. All the rocks. All, all the rocks. All the rocks. All the rocks. <laughs> what, what is all the rock? What is Alderac? So, this guy, one of the creators of Alderac, named Jolie, has an awesome comic called Knights of the Round Table. Oh. And in his D&D campaign, that world has a moon, and the name of that moon is Alderac. Oh. And the name is based on that moon. Oh. Yeah. We did not know that. No. Okay, so... It's a super cool point, Boyd, for knowing that AG means Alderac Entertainment Group. And not... Thank you. And not Sorry. the awesome, energetic Guatemalan. Although I'm still, I still stand behind that theory. <laughs> I still stand behind it. <laughs> All right, two points then. Thank you. Um, so I see a lot, of, a lot, a lot of times, and I and I did this uh, at the beginning too, when we tag AEG. A lot of times, AEG minions gets tagged. What what is that? So when we came to the company, uh, the data account already existed. And we have been trying to contact Instagram to merge the accounts. They haven't answered in three years. <laughs> so that's the story of AG Minions. Okay, so the proper tag is the Alderac. Alderac, yeah. There yeah. You go. Alderac yeah. So um, you just got a, a few cool games, but you know it's a never-ending story, right? So what what are your, what are the top three games on your wish list? King's Dilemma. Mm -hmm. Kabuto Sumo. Oh, yes. yes. And I want my own copy of Dead Reckon Elf, Ready Set Bet. <laughs> I mean, it's super fun. Uh, you, you, when, when, when you see it, you're going to understand why I want a copy of Ready Set Bet. Mm -hmm. We will keep an eye on it. Oh, yes. The big rage right now is uh, Wonderland's War. Huh? I think so. I think for me, the way I see it, the biggest game right now is. Ark Nova. Ark Nova, yeah. yeah. That was that was yeah. the next one I was gonna say. Yeah. And it's good. Have you played it? No. 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 Is it interesting? I, well, I haven't. Have you played Terraforming Mars? See, si. today is free on the Epic Store. Is it oh. really? Oh. Yeah, you can go right now to the Epic Store and download it for free. So save save eight bucks. Go and download Terraforming Mars. It's a great game. There you go. There you go. Well, Ark Nova is is fantastic. I I mean. I've seen a couple of negative reviews, but ah, haters, I, I, haters, I like it a lot. I think I think I'm gonna like it. I just so after all the hype is gone, and I can actually sit down and get to digest the game by what it is, and not by all the hype of I'm getting the cool game. I think I'm gonna run a lot of Arc uh, of Arc Nova, and I'm gonna decide if it's one of the games that I want. For me. And just for reference, the box is six pounds. Mm -hmm. Not twenty-two. Not twenty-two. Not twenty-two. So yeah, it's not know. not thirty-five, which I just got from Nemesis. Oh, oh baby! 
That's my entire life savings right there. That's a, that's a big one. You got the lockdown and the other oh. stuff? Oh, yep. Can I have it? No. Okay. Guatemalan to Guatemalan? If you come to Guatemala and you pick it up and you carry it yourself to the airport, you can take it. Hey, I could ship myself over there. I barely cost anything. Yeah, but you will never leave. You're going to like Guatemala too much. So no, no, oh, no. Yeah. It's better if you stay on the States. You could weigh me down with your titos. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so what's the best game you've played this year? Oof. It's, it's unfair because I love Guild of Merchant Explorers. And for me, it's the best game I played this year. And I don't... Okay. It's, it's an AG game, so I feel, I feel bad saying it, but I mean, every single person that I have shown that game and play with them, they go like, oh, right at the start of the second round, and they fell in love. It's in Start your heart. That's great. That, I mean, it is what it is, you know? It's not your fault that it's an AEG game. No, not my fault. I'm, I'm just... I'm just quite excited with that game. I think it's great. I think I think it innovates enough. I think it's fun to play, and I managed to do that spiel and teach people how to play in four minutes. Four oh, minutes? What? How long is the game itself, like average? I think when you learn how to play, 20 to 25. Okay. Oh. When and you how many players? Four players. Four players. Huh. Is it two yeah. to four or one to four? It's one to four, but then again, we're just going to make a game where we are going to invite everyone online to play it, and that's going to be as many as we can get. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That one sounds... Uh, we're sold. Yes. yes. Awesome. Um, I will sell myself to AEG. <laughs> no, you won't. We don't have enough money. <laughs> oh, I'm great at, at you know carrying boxes. Well, Red Redford is great at working for free. If anything, he's proved that he can yeah, work for free. I can work for free. Yeah, he complains. I will ask you for money. <laughs> yeah, but I will work for free. Awesome, good exactly. deal. You got yeah. right deal, Rolando. Sí, sí, sí. Es fantástico. Yes. <laughs> uh, better have reviews. <laughs> is saying which game was that? I didn't hear the titles. Repeat the title. Guild of Merchant Explorers. Guild of Merchant Explorers. Yeah, for some reason, my comments are not updating, so I'm not able to read what people are saying. But if you have any questions or something that you want to share. Yeah, well, definitely. Type it in the chat. Uh, v, uh, Game Board Master, says it was great. So she's got, to, she's got to play it. Awesome. Yeah. You know, some people are, you know, luckier than others, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to send the rest of the... So we usually get our games when they're ready to be shipped in batches. The first uh -huh. 50 copies that we send to creators go to the U.S. and Canada because we send them directly from China to the U.S. And mm. I'm, I'm sorry, I just don't have the budget to ship copies from China to the rest of the world. It's, it's, it's not feasible. But we get one lot sent to the state that's delivered on the states. And we, we get the rest of the games we ship them around the world. That's awesome. Mm. That's cool. That's cool. I, I I know the answer to this already because you just said it, but what's the most you've ever spent on a game? No, I haven't said it. Oh, it's not the oh, most. Oh, what? So there's more. There's more. Don't tell me it's 50 pounds. Oh. What? Is that magic? Yep. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Wow. Give me a ballpark. What, how much is in there? We don't want to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Very fair. I think a picture is worth uh, more than a thousand dollars. I mean, a thousand words. A thousand words. <laughs> Both are true. <laughs> okay. I have a question then. Yeah. Magic or Pokemon? They're very I, similar. Okay. Mm -hmm. As a game, Magic. As a, as a, as a world a storytelling, a way to meet friends, Pokemon. Wow. Oh. Okay, so how many cards are in those binders, approximately? Oh, no. <laughs> Never, next question. Okay. <laughs> you can use Guatemalan money if it's lower. <laughs> no, Red, for I have to multiply it by eight, and that's not going to help. Oh. I think we broke him. <laughs> Whoops. 
Bad question. <laughs> it's, it's probably seven pounds per binder, sometimes 15 pounds per, pounds per binder. Wow. Oh. Okay, how long have you been filling those binders? 27 years. 27 years. Oh. Imagine that thing. That's, that's cool. Whoa. That's cool. Okay, so what's the worst game you've ever played? Oof. Uh... Oh, be before we get to that, uh, V is saying, uh, what is the most expensive card? Oh. I own? Yeah. Mm, George will afford. Mm, how much do you think that goes for? When I buy it, I buy it at $75. I think it's reaching $2,000 or $3,000. Oh! Whoa! Oh! You have it in mint condition? Good yep. condition? Yeah. Wow. Do you play with it or do you keep it nice and tidy? I play with them. Oh. Yeah, it's not like you, you know, you don't open your action figures. And... Well, I do. I do. Yeah. I just put them back. And you put them back, yeah. And then you lick the box. Yeah. Yeah. How, do you, look, how do you lick? How do you Red lick? Redford, you collect action figures? Oh, yeah, Funko Pops. You collect Funko Pops? I, I have a couple of Funko Pops. I have... Let's see if you recognize them. Mm. <gasps> I want those. I wanted those. Hey, those I wanted these. those. Yeah? Just bum, 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 bum. Wait, can I put that on Instagram? Is that Here you go. Yeah. Oh, no way. Steven, Those are my phone calls. I don't have too much. I just have Steven, Dead, Appa, Chavo, and Chapulín. Chapulín. Oh, those man. Cool. Those I like cool. those. Yeah, those are cool. I like those. Hey, look, Better Half Review says quarter says hi to Redford. You want to say hi to quarter? Hello, quarter. When do you think he's going to be a dollar? Uh, He's getting there. He's growing. Yeah, I think three more years. Three more. Uh, <laughs> all right, so the question. What, what's the worst game you've ever played? Arranca Cebolla. Arranca cebolla, Dios mío. Como dicen los guatemaltecos, puchica, ¿qué es eso? It's onion peeler. Onion peeler. So, it's a, it's, a, it's a kids game you play on the street. Ah. Oh. One of the kids gets to get a hold of a, of a post, electrical, electric post, and then all the other kids create a change, a human change. And then you have to peel the guy away from the post and he stay there as much as he can. Oh my goodness. Is there live electricity? Nope. It's just heavy heating game. <laughs> anything that you can to move that guy away from the post. It's gonna I do that. Everything. I mean, it's, you get hurt, really. Yeah, it sounds that way. I, I used to do that. How? But uh, with actual electricity. Oh, really? So you actually get You hold on to a wire, a live wire, and you're... <laughs> yeah. And they try to pull you away. But then when they grab you, like you know, that. they also start going... <laughs> yeah, you don't want to do that. Oh, yeah, don't do that. Quarter, don't. Listen, quarter, I'm a bad influence. <laughs> that actually sounds like an episode of Chespirito. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's actually an episode of Chespirito where they go, like, holding each other with the light, and they go, like... Bloop. Oh, yeah, yeah. El perro arrepentido. El perro arrepentido, that's another episode. Well, yeah, well, that's the El perro arrepentido con su mirada tan tierna, con el hocico partido y con el rabo entre las piernas. <laughs> y se repite 20 veces. Oh, sí. <laughs> <laughs> so keep going. Hay que hacer el corrido de la cucaracha if you want. El corrido de la cucaracha. Oh. You want to sing with me? Redford, you know. Redford. Go for it, Redford. Oh, I haven't heard this one. Let's do it. You All have right. never seen the cucaracha. Not this one. Okay. La cucaracha, la cucaracha, ya no puede caminar. Oh, I don't know the lyrics. Tiene más pana que fumar. Yeah, I've heard it. I just, I thought, I didn't know the lyrics. You didn't know the lyrics? So, no. the, the with la cucaracha is that it's a, 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 a historical Mexican song. And then several people around history have added to that song. And they oh. usually use them to make up political criticize mm. of the requirements. So those verses add there, and then you go to a basic verse. So 
one, I guess one or twice, once or twice in my life, I have seen the tested version of La Cucaracha, just for fun. <laughs> you could say, ya no tiene juegos que jugar. No. No? No more overbus. No more overbus? No more overbus. You need well, to move on from overbus. You need to be like a like a cat lover, a dog lover. That way you can. So move. you just want me to go over to the go egg to the, side. Go to the egg side. A-E-G's. Yeah. I could be an Eggman. What have the brothers ever done for you? Come on, Sadie. That one hurt. Right. That one hurt. That one hurt. That one hurt. <laughs> um, Redford, Redford, ya no quiere molestar porque le falta, porque no tiene nuevos juegos que jugar. He did it. He did it. He did oh it. my God. That he could used. Be. His gigantic genius brain. You see? So that's why he is an awesome, energetic Guatemalan, also known as AEG. There you go. Copyright 2022. So, would you ever consider All right, go to Red leaving, <laughs> leaving your overboss, uh, you know, obsession to come over to AEG? Why doesn't AEG just cooperate? with Overboss, then I get the best of both worlds. Wait, hold on. Okay, A-E-G. Sometimes I got I call you guys egg. You know, like eggs. So, um, <laughs> when your employees, the egg employees, are you guys like the eggsmen? Like <laughs> X-men? The eggmen. This is not gonna work, Redford. This is, oh, this is oh, no? Work. You guys don't no. wear like suits with an egg I symbol? That will be cool, right? Like the we are the X Men. No, no, it will never work. <laughs> no. Wait, your boss doesn't like look into people's minds. <laughs> can your like employer? Can he lift up magnetic things or? Does your boss have hair? Does your boss shape shift? <laughs> hmm. uh, he has changed weight a lot this year, so he might be a shapeshifter. Oh, does, does he get like claws out of his fingers? Or, <laughs> or is that the accountant? <laughs> no, Taylor is a really nice person. Uh, you know what? She has superpowers. Sometimes the bank account is empty, and then she just fills it up really easily, like this. It's magic. Ah, uh, so they <laughs> are like the X Men. They're the Eggmen. They're the Eggmen. The Eggmen. <laughs> Eggs. We gotta work that into a video somewhere. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Um <laughs> Professor Egg. Professor Egg. <laughs> yeah. Next time he goes into the office, he needs to call his boss Professor Egg. CEO yeah. of the Eggsmen. The Eggsmen. A E G. That's awesome. Awesome energetic one a month. <laughs> all rights reserved, all rights go to Retro. <laughs> um so uh, do you have a shelf of shame? <laughs> Sorry, I can't stop laughing. Do you have a shelf of, a shelf of shame? Sure, I have. Uh, I have my copy of Kanban that I haven't been able to play with my friends. Oh, that's like my favorite game. <laughs> and, and I want to play it, but I just I, I haven't have I haven't find a group. Uh, I in that shelf I also have. Uh, it's not Tenochtitlan, Teotihuacan. Okay. Oh. Yeah, Teotihuacan is on the waiting list. After the Empire is also on the waiting list. And right now I got uh, Tar Tower and Nemesis and Foundations from Rome. And I hope to play some of those this weekend. But uh, otherwise, they're going to stay on the shame shelf. That's a heavy shelf. That's a heavy shelf. He built it himself, too. He built it himself, too. You're paying it. Look at that. Look at, let's Look compare. That. Compare. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Love it. Tyler Smith in the comments says, my son is trying to copy everything Redford is saying, and it's making my I am nice. a great <laughs> talk, talk to little Tyler. Talk to little Battlefish. Little Tyler. Little Battlefish. A little guppy. <laughs> little guppy. Swimming in the path of life. Remember, one day you too can grow up to be an Eggman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're nearing the end here, uh, Vlad. I, I, I've, I've had a lot of fun talking to you. Um, Thank you. Uh, if you could play with any celebrity, comic book character, or furry creature, mm -hmm. who would it be and why? Uh, Dream of the Endless, because mm. it will be awesome to have a conversation with that comic character and try to understand what it means to be Lord of the Lord of Dreams. Oh, yeah, I never thought of that. Oh, 
That's interesting. That's a good idea. That is a good idea. <laughs> what would you? How does it feel? What, what would you play? You think? I think. I think. So maybe something really abs. So depends on how I want to the conversation to move forward. If if I want to have a serious conversation, I can just play go. And just oh. it it will be a very good reflection on how the world works by doing the abstraction with the go with the go chips. If I want just to have fun with one unique personality and just move it away of what he's doing and just knowing something doing something fun, I will play Maple Circus. Ah, oh, <laughs> yeah. See him shake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Maple Circus is, is fun. You don't have to think too much. You just... Yeah. It, Redford has a problem with Maple Circus. Maple Circus is uh, quite tough. My but mouth skills are on point. He would be great at Kabuto Sumo, which is why I want to get it, because I think he would be good at that. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Uh huh. Exactly. He knows, unless, he unless, knows. His, unless his guns get in the way. Let me see your guns again. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, Let's put that red for one, two, three. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> You're a watermelon strength, baby. <laughs> oh, man. This is what I get for all those chuchitos. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Chuchitos equals muscle. All right. So, final question, and then we'll let you enjoy your night. Uh, do, you have, do you have any advice for Redford? Mm -hmm. Have fun. Thank you. Have is, fun. So, is this an expression? No, it's n nothing magical. Just have, have fun. fun. Whatever you're doing, have fun. Enjoy hey. the living. That will be my best advice. Hey, that's great advice, actually. That's good advice. That is great advice. Yeah. Thank as, you, Vlad. As they say in uh, Costa Rica, pura vida. Pura vida. Yeah, I... So you remember the word, right foot? Am I a word yeah. for Yes. Let's do it together because we have to be thankful about this meeting. So one, two, three. Machete. Uh, Sorry. I messed up. <laughs> so I'm just I'm really thinking about Danny Trejo right now. <laughs> yeah, machete was close enough. Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Redford, you you He's on my mind right yeah. now. Yeah, okay. I bet your boss can read into my mind. He's one of the Eggmen. I don't know how I don't know how we can top that. Like we can't no. No, no there is nowhere to go from here. <laughs> There's nowhere to no. go from here. So let's no. just go home. Yeah, oh, we are home. Right. Let's hope. Yeah. Well you wanna go to Guatemala? I'd love you. to go to Guatemala. Uh, let's go. It was they great. You yes. Fun, and I hope to talk another day. Thank you so definitely, much. Definitely, definitely, Vlad. Thank you for for coming on with us, yes, uh, and everyone in the chat. Thank you for having a good time with us. Hope you enjoy your night, and uh, we'll 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 be chatting. Sure. All right, Bye. my friend. Bye. Adios. Adios. Bye. Gracias por estar aquí. Bye. 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 Man, what if what if they really are the